Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Chop, and we're back again with another video. This is From the Worst PR Mistakes to Breaking the Law Part 2, the Salenta Tsuki X Niji Sanji Incident. Obviously, it got worse since last video. Let's see how bad, god damn it, how the bad can it get? continuation of this massive how much worse? was on February 13th at 1.34 a.m. Central hey, European it's time. I remember her. Was not she from Niji Sanji Yen 1? The first Alira Pandora, yeah. who is one of yeah. the first ever English her. branch Niji Sanji VTubers, tweets this out. Hi everyone, thank you for your patience during my absence. Myself and some others will be speaking about the recent situation in 30 minutes from now. Okay. Recent situation being the whole sell in. Wait, wait, wait. Why are the VTubers themselves commenting on the country? Shouldn't the the, the Niji Sanji comment on this and Niji not Sanji the actual VTubers? This cannot of course, go well. In the most robotic and dystopian way possible, most of the English branch VTubers retweeted or quoted this tweet. Oh, God. Hey, everybody, we have something really important to talk about. Please give us your time if you can. Enna or alwete. while saying things like this. Renzoto. It would mean a lot if you could take a listen. Thank you. Now, I'm not sure that every VTuber retweeting this was told what the stream was going to be about. I think they were just told, guys, don't worry. Hey, we're going to solve everything. <laughs> just retweet this. Trust me. That's everything is going to be water under the bridge. <laughs> So it was going to be Alira Pandora with okay. two other Nijisanji English branch streamers joining her. Uh -huh. Vox Akuma saying something robotically similar. Thank you for your patience. This situation has been incredibly hard on all of us. We're going to share as I don't see the Japanese apostrophe though. As much as we can in the stream. Oh, yeah, you will. So please come and watch <laughs> if you can. And of course, Ike Eveland, E.K. I, I don't know how to spell his name. Just, just, let's just say Ike to piss people off. But why those Ike. three in particular? Well, nothing is really random in a Japanese corporation. Oh, Everything god. is painfully calculated. Oh god, it, are they gonna dump the whole dumpster fire on their, their heads? Oh, that would be crazy if they do that. Please don't do that. Oh. So if you just as much fart, they want to know the... Release it into my mouth, baby. Okay, don't... Okay. Exact volume Let's get back to and serious. the smell. This situation is no different. Ike Eveland is almost to a million subscribers on YouTube, and he's Damn. the 10th most subscribed in all of Nijisanji Global. And Vox, who's not only the biggest English branch VTuber, but also beats many of the Japanese VTubers in terms Damn. of influence, were chosen not just because they can reach the maximum amount of people, but mm -hmm. because they can also try to sway them with having okay. their favorite VTubers talk about the issue. But of course, the question you might be asking yourself, why is it being streamed on Alira's channel? Yeah, that's a good them? question. Why not stream it on Vox's channel that has 1.3 million subscribers? Why stream it on a channel that barely has half a million? What? We can look into that later. At least half a million is a decent amount. That's a lot of people, brother. But what matters is that at this point, people were hoping that this was going to clear things up in a good way and actually yeah. incite change. Good luck with that. But this ended up <laughs> doing the, not only the opposite effect, it, got it ended up noted. making this what does community know to me? I don't know. So much I don't worse, know Twitter stuff. Not just stuff. for Niji Sanji, but for the livers that appeared on the stream in general, especially Alira, since this was on her channel. Before we even watch this disastrous message or whatever the hell it's meant to be, we don't even need to watch a single second for you to understand how much ill intent it harbored towards Dokeeper. Remember how I said that this was tweeted at 1.30 a.m. Central change? European time? Alira said we're going live in 30 minutes, which means they were going to go live at 2 a.m. Central European time. Doki Bird, oh, bro. on the other end, had a stream she was very excited about that she had planned since the 12th, where she would play Neopets. At the and same time? And she was scheduled to go live bro. at 2 a.m. Central European. Yo, that's dirty as fuck, Niji. What the hell is up with you guys? That is so dirty. And time as well. This means that Niji Sanji took a conscious decision that's, to go live at the same exact that's crazy. time that Doki Bird was going that's live on crazy. her channel. If that's not a middle finger, if that's not ill intent, what is? <laughs> Bro, that is more than a middle finger. That is a finger insertion. Like, Maybe a fist is? insertion. I can already predict what Niji Sanji might say if you raise this issue to them. They might say, oh, you know, this was the only time the VTubers were available. Yeah, just a but coincidence. The, is, the biggest VTuber involved here is Vox Akuma, mm -hmm. and he lives in the UK. London, and as you can bruh. see right here, it would have bruh. been 1 a.m. GMT. You're telling me you couldn't have found any better time for him? <laughs> that already is a massive PR mistake, and we haven't even watched the video yet. <laughs> so, 
Let's do it. I mean, is it this a live PR stream mistake? Starts off I don't know. Like it's funeral. fucked up. It is a black screen, and people are talking in this very concerned voice. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this like one of those uh, uh, YouTube apology thing videos that some people make after that like, they touch a kid or they put a corpse, a staff filming a corpse in a Japanese forest? Where they fake cry and oh please come on you can't do it you're a away. fucking company you now comments, a stupid person stupid this. teenager i'm scared should not be allowed this is some type of damage control bullshit that i'm donezo please god be a real message and not pr garbage <laughs> it probably is Look, PR at this garbage. point people hated the company but they still held hope that the livers that the vtubers themselves were okay so everything was culminating up until this point, and this live stream had the potential to change everything for better or for worse. Now don't worry, we're not gonna watch the whole thing. We're just gonna go through some highlights. Okay. The whole thing starts off with Alira talking and setting the mood. The time to listen to us today. Vox and Ike are also present here with me, and we would like to take some time to address the events surrounding Zelentatsky's contract termination. Hi everyone. Hello. Um to preface why is this so awkward why is this so awkward bro i'm feeling the cringe on my arms god damn it can you see it you can't see shit i'm sorry my camera is dark shit. with any color staff and our legal team about what why are they talking today. about this however due to how sensitive the situation is please do keep in mind that there are limits to what we're able to share both we the livers and the company have been affected deeply and are taking the situation very sure. seriously uh-huh Everything that will be discussed has been approved by our lawyers or is based solely on our personal experiences. Right, so barely a minute in and That's we understand whole lot of very PR quickly, talk. this has been pre-approved by the staff of Nijisanji with their legal team, okay? Again, goes back to my point. Everything here is capital. I mean, technically, yeah. If she's suing them, because last video I said that uh, Salem was suing them, right? DocuBird. They kind of need to do that with the lawyers, I guess. And it makes sense. if you don't sense. believe me, look at the live stream length. A painfully accurate Yo, 15, 15 minutes with no extra it's Sometimes that happens. Added. Come on. Hell, I don't even think this was live. I think this was pre-recorded. Probably was. In fact, it shouldn't have even been a live stream. But again, this was going on as Doki Bird was playing Neopets. <laughs> I would like to first apologize if my silence on the matter has caused any worry. Over the past month, staff received documents from Solen's lawyer containing examples of her claimed experiences under any color. Of our claimed experiences. ...included personal information of some livers, and when it was sent to us, we learned that there was a potential that this information could be made public. What? Barely two minutes have passed by, and two major things have been revealed. She's seen the legal documents that Selen has sent, and she's pretty much insinuating that she feels threatened by the information contained within, as if saying that Selen was planning to leak them. Mm. Yeah, she's right. I totally see that happening. I totally see Doki Bird getting on Twitter and saying, Hey guys, this is where Alira lives. Go say hi. <laughs> <laughs> but in general, the reason why I'm pointing this out is because this is going to be a pattern that will repeat. In Just bomb the whole shit. Hey, you want you want to know the locations? I send out everybody. Bam, bam, bam. At around 3:51, and expressed that when they heard of what Doki Bird had done to herself and how she almost lost her life, oh, they reached God. out and were very concerned. Okay. Then she stopped talking. Then the biggest male VTuber in Nijisanji speaks for okay. almost two thirds of the video. What about the and third this guy? This is where the pattern initially presented by Alira makes a comeback. This idea that Selen is mentally comeback. unstable, that she's always been off the rails, that she cannot abide by any oh, corporate God. rules, and who's had many. They're gonna attack the person that's going through emotional distress and almost, you know, unalive themselves. Yeah, that's. A real upstanding there, Niji Sanji. Let's go. Times to repent because Vox and Good company job. were trying to comfort her so many times that she ended up using all her chances. In fact, the only thing that was shown in this entire black stream was some conversations regarding oh, selling the music video with her manager. Vox said that this is to provide more He's context on the situation. This is an image that tells a story in six parts, with the first part being Selen uploading her music video to be approved by management, okay. and the last part being the tweet of Selen that started it all. In the middle, we see management saying, Hi Selen, sorry for the late reply. Since this video included X livers, it will cost more time for me to get confirmation. The audio is okay for me. Mm. And then asking, so why this is released before I got confirmation? This video is set to private until I got confirmation. There's also a chance that you might need to readjust it before setting to public again. Also, before you post anything to explain about it, please confirm with me. And she tweeted this tweet. All this right. is definitely a... So we're meant to believe that Selen posted this for authorization. Then she immediately posted it online. Like, come on, no one's gonna do that, right? 
I mean, I, I find it hard to believe. Crazy Obviously, this edited control. to make because her look very even bad. Though Vox is saying that this is to provide context. We're still missing a lot of it yeah. if we're going to delve deep into this. This music video has taken months, almost a year, to be made from start to Aww. finish. Not to mention that it was fully funded by selling fifteen thousand dollars. Art's out of kind of adorable, pocket, and she had approval really of all adorable. parties involved, <laughs> including anything copyright related. We don't even know if this was the first draft. And one thing, of course, they so Yo. carefully didn't mention in the stream is that this wasn't the first time Selen was shown this kind of behavior from management. At some point, there was this public announcement that, Nisaji hey, Selen cannot host post any live tournaments anymore under Nijisaji, with no explanation. But even though it was tough, in Vox's own words, which became a, a pretty famous line from this 15-minute live stream, Oh, God. Nijisaji is always an option for livers. If she had wanted to graduate beforehand she was given i thought she was supposed to wait for graduation i thought you didn't let her that's what i was saying last video plus i highly doubt it's just like oh yeah i want to leave and you leave immediately since you probably signed like 15 documents that you had to do certain things if you leave and they probably might find your ass i don't know i don't know how what exactly the document is but i highly doubt you signing up with a big ass company like this where they do stuff for you is easy to leave okay Very i highly doubt that so amicably the scripted live stream the huge desperation god that guy probably caught so much shit for this didn't he behind this damage control attempt and him saying graduation is always an option to someone who almost graduated their soul out of their body by <laughs> yo that's foul almost dying, <laughs> that's foul it's really weird <laughs> that's so foul way to taste. say it he also mentioned how he felt backstabbed because Selen recorded a part of their conversation at one point huh? and continues with the narrative that she actually hurt not just the company but the talent behind the company. He even went as far to say that he was Bro, the talent bullied her almost to death. You all deserve to be hurt. What do you mean? Well, it's maybe not all, but... at some point with her in solidarity you know. because he believed everything she said, but it turned out to him somehow that everything she was saying was out of context and he now realizes this a pretty bold accusation missing proof and context but i want you to thoroughly focus okay. on what he says here watch having thoroughly reviewed the thoroughly. sent to any color by her lawyer guys we thoroughly dive deep first off why does he have the documents by her lawyer shouldn't that just be a niji sanji thing like the company why are the vtubers seeing the documents she's sending to the lawyers of niji sanji this is this whole situation is i'm a i'm a beyond with you it is extremely unprofessional from everybody well not everybody but mostly from niji sanji but to the what the hell is going on with this company keep this in mind for later this i thought it was a big ass important. professional company after vox had finished talking it was ek stern he pretty okay. much rehashed what Elira said but what's most notable here is that again he admits that he saw what was sent by selen's lawyer we always managed to get on really well so um, that's why it was so shocking for me to learn that any color had received these documents from Selen's lawyer. Learning about what was he talking like he shot his dog was to me personally incredibly saddening. Uh. And as a gentle reminder, this was all happening as Doki Bird was streaming Neopets. <laughs> Initially, she tried to <laughs> Yo, going from all that sad, awkward shit to this oh, uh, vibe. Yellowish color Ignore happiness. It, but the it's chat crazy, bro. Her about it. She found out what they were <laughs> of saying. She found and out. she was shocked by the fact that they admitted so openly that they had seen these documents. Because according to her, these were meant to stay private between uh, her yeah, legal team course. and Sanji's legal team. What you mean? This was huge. She called her lawyer and she had to make up some sort of statement. That unfortunately meant that she had to cut short oh, her come on, brother. And shortly after ending, she went to Twitter to post this energy. insane nuclear warhead. Oh, hell. Oh. This is going to be a long one. Okay. But We're continuing the thread of nuclear warheads towards Japan. I got to say, we got to stop. Okay. It addresses everything that Holy was mentioned about her in the live stream and shuts down sheesh. any attempt of damage control from Niji Sanji. In it, she says, I was ready to move on. I had made my last statement and I haven't looked at anything regarding my past for a full week. I didn't look at anything regarding legal documents or anything regarding my situation uh -huh. since I moved back to Doki. I wanted to be hopeful for the future and never interact with that side again. So to see it all come back and reopen the wound that I was ready to heal from and to have to talk to my lawyer again on how to respond. The document mentioned was at first made to document my thoughts and history with evidence so that my lawyer can see the okay. general picture of what was going on and if there were issues that should be addressed. It was first made during my darkest time mentally mm. and I wrote everything on my mind little by little at that time. 
I made the document thinking that it was never going to be public to anyone but my lawyer. Although it was a I'm pretty sure there are laws that protect this. So I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to... S well, I mean, listen, I'm not sure what law we're talking about because law is different country to country. But in most normal cases, there are private documents that only the judge and the lawyers, if there is a judge, can see, right? And maybe the parties that are involved. You're not supposed to be able to share this with people. So I hope they got fined for this or something bad happened to need you for this the document filled with my personal information as well as this privacy information up. that should not be public mm. there were no other addresses or specific locations mentioned so pretty much what alira and Ike were concerned about the them the being ink. doxxed was false according to dokibert regarding a recording this was not intended to be anything other than a distribution test for planning of a collaborative event between two people which happened to be left over from one test recording and I never recorded any other conversations with anyone. Mm -hmm. The recording was never shown anywhere, even in a legal setting, and there are no other records. However, I regret that it was mentioned, and I'm sorry to all parties affected for the misunderstanding in this. Okay. So this is referencing Vox and how he was backstabbed by finding out that there was a recording with him in it. It seemed to have been included. What was that recording mistake, about? Even if it wasn't, she was that recording? Water under the bridge. Turns out she wasn't trying to backstab you. I requested. Oh. Okay, listen. If she actually has a recording with him, that is important it's not just water under the bridge but we don't know we haven't had any information about what the recording is about does it do anything is it important nope that i just wanted to move on sometimes i didn't hear anything for days from the lawyers the mm -hmm. Sanji lawyers on the other side and felt like i'd be alone and isolated for a long time it made it so hard for me mentally on february 5th my lawyer discussed and said it will be best to show the document i wrote to the other lawyers as we have not heard from them for a week or any negotiation talks or given a meeting to discuss after my yeah. request to part so she wanted to graduate amicably and put everything behind her oh at but that point she wasn't graduated yet Yo, what is, this is much such a weird thing. situation is there something Spoken. more unprofessional than this she said yeah, i'm the not first sure about document that she had made to make her lawyer understand her situation hoping that this would make nijisanji's lawyers understand it too well, <laughs> it was never intended to be used for anything else. I've asked my lawyer to convey that and have communication that the document as it was written wasn't mm -hmm. going to be released anywhere. And my lawyer did so when sending the document. Less than two hours after my lawyer sent oh. the document, the termination notice came out. I was very shocked, but thought that was the last time I will hear or think about the document and that this personally, in my own opinion, was the end of the lawyers and the legal involvement. All the communication okay. was done between lawyers and Japanese. Think okay, so it seems like she hired lawyers just to make sure that they don't somehow, you know, find her or sue her for leaving the company. So she was trying to find a way out, but then they terminated her. Interesting. I thought she was suing them for something. Things are not black and white, and everything gets more complicated and muddled when lawyers are involved in a different country. True. When things are conveyed to multiple parties through different degrees of communication, everything turns into different narratives and different translations. I thought it was over, and I've accepted what happened and ready to move on. Everything I post to the public about the situation was a response. If it was a month ago, it will have been different as I was angry, but I was also very alone in my head. Mm. But it's not a month ago, and I've accepted it. I wanted it to be neutral and private, but now the whole world is involved and the public is yeah, watching I'm every suck. step that happens. This paragraph is not just the worst thing out of the statement, this video, or even the last video. This is probably the worst thing to come out from the entire thing. This is something that we didn't know yet, and this is our first time finding out. I'm not perfect, and I have faults. Okay. I had to watch my dad cry and break down in front of me for the oh. first time in my life last night. Oh. Despite everything that has happened, please show kindness to all parties involved. There are real people behind the monitors. One of the reasons why I wanted this to be private is that the internet can be a cruel place and I knew this would happen the moment this type of notice drops. What I didn't From reveal to bumps. anyone and my only my bumps. parents and therapists knew was that it was not one attempt, but two, which happened a few weeks after oh. the first. My parents found me in time after searching for me for hours before anything happened. I was in a really dark place and I do not wish this to anyone. No one should go through what I went through. I reveal this now not for pity, but to state that no life, no matter what, should be risk for ego or winning anything. True. There are no winners in this. Please don't make it like high school. Treat everyone like adults and with some empathy and kindness. Oh, that's a good message. Very kind. For those kind. who wish to see receipts or documents or anything else, hoping I will reveal them, I'm sorry, but these are the things that should be private and yeah. between lawyers. First off, if you wish to see 
first off, motherfucker, you don't deserve to see them, okay? This is none of your goddamn business. It shouldn't have been public in the first place, but it got to public, so... Revealing private documents and talking about the details within will only just it's make crazy, things worse bro. and more complicated as outside parties get involved and will just hurt everyone. No one deserves to be pushed over the edge. So many people have got hurt and involved even if they were innocent bystanders. In the end, I will always be here to respond and that is the only thing I will do in public. I hope this will be the last statement I have to make. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> when I said it was a nuclear warhead, I meant it. This is quite literally the definition Stop. of a bombshell. Niji Sanji dehumanized Selen and treated her like a number until the very end with their lawyers ghosting her. I mean, just imagine you sent something that you wrote when you were in your most vulnerable state just to try to make them understand the situation a bit oh. better. Two hours later. Listen, it's not. Okay, I'm playing the devil's advocate here for a little bit, but it's not certain that they ghosted her. Usually with this law and they might have not known exactly what needed to happen. They might have been working on checking out if everything can legally be done. There could have been a lot of reasons for the one week things. Usually law proceedings and it's very slow, to be honest. Usually cases take like years. So I, I, I get her point of view. I also get why they might have like the Niji lawyers. OK, I'm not saying they did the right thing. No, they didn't. But I'm saying, you know, it might have taken more time later. You get terminated and you're not even notified about it. Yeah, why That's didn't they know that? That's so stupid. And we also found and out that unfortunately it wasn't one attempt, but two. Yeah, that with the sucks. first one being done weeks before the music video fiasco even happened. Initially, we thought that the music video was the final straw that broke the camel's back, but, but no, it wasn't. this, if anything, shows me that Selen had been under a toxic environment for longer than we could have thought. Because to attempt it once is one thing, but to attempt it twice in under a month, I can't even imagine. But right now, in this very moment, what people really <laughs> wanted to know was, how the hell did Niji Sanji manage to self-report again? again? This time, <laughs> instead of the company, it was the VTubers saying, yeah. yo, man. What I mean, listen, the, the VTubers were probably forced to do this by the company. Let's be honest. I highly doubt they were like, hey, yo, we're going to do this stream, the three of us together. We're going to explain everything. Everything's going to be fine. I highly doubt that happened, but. You know, got these documents. It wasn't a smart idea. These lawyer documents, man. The things we found in there were crazy. It's like, wait, wait, <laughs> wait a second. What? You weren't yeah. even meant to look at them. And so there you have it, folks. Another attempt at damage control gone extremely. By the way, I just saw that there's like 11 more minutes of this. What? The, how is this? How is this still going on? Wrong. I think this might be the most disliked <laughs> video insane. in Damn. not just Niji Sanji history, but VTuber history. But it's okay, guys, because as Alira said, she volunteered to use her channel as a platform. Yo, she probably got... After discussion with the members of Niji Sanji Ian as a collective, I volunteered for my channel to be used for this stream. But little did she know, she was being yeah. used as a human meat shield for her corporation. She was going to dox us. Doki. It was only meant for lawyers to see no one else. <laughs> Shaking my head, they tried though. <laughs> Immediately after Not a very this, good try. Niji Sanji had to deploy damage control for their- Bro, if I was Niji Sanji at this point, if I was some of the higher-ups, listen, all your damage control has done more damage. At some point, you gotta just say, okay, we're gonna take a little break and stop posting anything because your damage control is not working, brother. In fact, it's working negatively. You are not doing a good job of this at all. You suck Failed at this. Control. <laughs> and yeah, before you say anything, it did get community noted as all their what posts does that mean? are these days. Regarding concerns that have arisen in relation oh, to the God. current situation. <laughs> More PR talk. <laughs> Who's running this? Who? Because I bet you an intern would do a better job at this point. <laughs> So they pretty much at this point, it might be an intern. Say like, in order what the hell is up with this company? And her so dog claim, shit. Any color ink shared only necessary parts of the information sent by her lawyer with our live. You're not supposed to share any part of the conversation. You do not understand this. No part. None. None. They shouldn't even know that that is a thing. God damn it. To an internal investigation. <laughs> Internal. Oh, they double down and say that they have not made any confidentiality violations regarding submitted documents for legal claims such as these. However, regarding the specific information and documents which Selen's lawyer requested that we do not share with our livers, with utmost consideration of this request, any color has not shared any such information. Hmm, so you share another information? Box, he thoroughly checked the documents sent by Selen's lawyer, having thoroughly reviewed this documents sent to any color by her lawyer. <laughs> 
In addition, our livers are not held to any confidentiality obligation regarding the information shared to them from any color. Thus, there are no legal issues regarding the information shared to the public in the stream made by our livers. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? The confidentiality obligation wasn't made towards them anyway. They weren't meant to see it. After a rigorous legal check, any color hereby declares... Oh, it declares. ...has not made any confidentiality violations while checking the validity... How can you declare that? That is not a thing that you can declare. That is a thing a judge can declare. You can't declare shit, motherfucker. Who are you? F claims made by I declare I'm the king of the libraries. world. Community note. I'll pay me taxes. The library in question, Selen, on her new account is doesn't work like that. confirmed that she was promised the information would only be shown to lawyers as it was an HR complaint. Sharing this information without consent may be a violation. <laughs> Imagine calling one of your workers tries to kill themselves twice because of bullying and harassment and, you know, unprofessional work environment and you're like hey it was a hr complaint brother like peta as Jesus. is canadian who's right this what did anything but clear things up again they made it worse they made it fuck way worse now this post was made at 5 16 central european time oh God. february 13th okay. right not even 19 minutes afterwards they posted the ceo of any color addressing the concerns oh personally. god and you think, oh man, the CEO stepping up. Damn. Is okay, he a big brain or is he a moron? actually improve things. <laughs> no, you're not thinking that, right? At this point. Yo, that guy looks mean as hell. Can't be. If that's the CEO. Yo, why is he looking like an anime villain? That is an anime villain. What the hell are you doing? This long bow was used for memes. I'll show you later. I, I died laughing. <laughs> In the notice, we unfortunately used the expression negligible. To describe performance impact. Oh. I deeply regret this outcome and will be rethinking how our communication in English is done. Without a doubt, Seren was integral to okay. the growth of the Good PR media. talk. Wow. Yeah, that much is clear, especially with how you terminated her without her even <laughs> knowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Actions speak louder than words. That's why this entire video kind of means nothing, especially since around three or four hours ago, before this was even published, the live stream of Vox, Alira, and EK took place. So this is everything's happening in the same day. Everything he's apologizing for, by Jesus the way. Jesus Christ. The effect of this video on your reputation will be negligible. <laughs> <laughs> this is the meme I was talking about. Riku giving the investors the Yo. sloppiest toppy of their lives. <laughs> Damn, brother. <laughs> Nah, I can't. Good night. Addressing Not even your concerns. Your breath. Can someone explain this video in League of Legends terms? I'm too lazy to watch. Team Gold Advantage. Ran it down. <laughs> yeah. Straight up, they all five of them ran it down mid, brother. That is in League of Legends terms. Now this. Now if this was in League of Legends terms, they did not make it to 30 minutes. They did not even make it to 50. They did not get the chance to surrender. They lost that fast. Now, yes, That's the memes League of are Legend hilarious, terms. and they're even being used Bro. to troll a dumbass hashtag called Positive Spam for Niji En, <laughs> created by Niji positive Fanatic, spam. trying to flood Niji Sanji hey. with positive comments. I'm gonna be honest with you. Through all this thing, the weirdest thing to me is how big companies like Niji Sanji, like Apple, like whatever, can have people that are fans of these big ass corporations. Bro, how can you be a fan of a big ass corporation? Like, that's some. 13 IQ shit, brother. Let's be honest. Now That's the whole pathetic. hashtag is just <laughs> you can be fan of people, which is great. But you see, the main Groups. reason why but the like, apology of the God CEO damn, means nothing is focused. because this is a classic case of apologize only Sheesh. when you get caught. The stream with Alira, Vox, and EK was just a beefed up version of a classic thing that Niji Sanji always do when they want to oh, get rid of a VTuber from they deem problematic. Mm. Except this was the first time where they got caught. Just last year, they had done the same exact thing to a VTuber under Niji Sanji EN oh, called cute. Zion. Zion was Zion? going through something terrible, which is a stealth suspension, oh, where she has to tell the public that she's quote unquote taking a break, when in reality Niji Sanji wanted to suspend her just under the radar. During that time, she was That's also being up. doxxed. Niji Sanji did nothing about it, and the fans had no idea she was being threatened constantly. She had spoken up about how much of a dark company this is, about how terrible the working conditions are, and Niji Sanji successfully turned and swayed public opinion on her. Oh, she God. got so much hate over this, and the termination hey. made her look like... I mean, to be honest, this the same thing could have happened to Selene easily. If she got... If she graduated, and she was unable to talk about what actually happened under Niji Sanji due to uh, 
contracts, they could have easily made her look like the bad person in this. So, it was close. Like a bad person. It was person. close. This is exactly what they were trying to do with that stream on Selen, except thankfully this time, the public knew better. But now people are waking up. Apologize to her <laughs> now. Zion did nothing wrong. She was the first martyr, and you Bro, all hated her because she spoke the truth. She told you Niji Sanji was evil. She told you any color Glow was black. Try and bite you didn't believe her because you ate Tazumi shit right up. Tazumi oh. being Riku Tazumi, the sloppy oh. toppy CEO of Niji Sanji. She had written a huge document after her termination that I recommend you read that really goes in detail about how crazy working under Niji Sanji is. Mm. I mean, look at this. She had to take down a stream because she had made a joke, these nuts, because Niji Sanji, in their eyes, Bruh. this meant that she was really? almost insinuating that she was sponsored by a company called These Nuts. Can you believe this? Like, can you believe how is... crazy this is? Wait, she had... I think the craziest part about that is there is a company named These Nuts. Come on, brother. To private the stream because of a dumb joke. So I'm going to take it a step further. This is Zion's alt account. This is her okay. new persona. Go support her definitely if Beat? you're supporting Doki because she went through what Doki went through, except she had to go through it all alone. So mm. with all that being said, what are the main consequences for Niji Sanji right Let's now? Let's see. Did they suffer? <laughs> Other than them successfully Damn. running down the reputation to the point where it went underground and is racing to the Earth's core. They're going to blow us all up? Their Cover, who runs Hololive by comparison, is being praised by people for actually treating their talent like human beings. Yeah. And wow, you're... They're actually treating human beings as human beings. I mean, listen, that should not be something that's praise. That should be common. Well, yes, there's a lot God damn, Niji Sanji, what's wrong with y'all? to be found Oof. about Niji Sanji and how bad of a company they are. They also, as I mentioned in my last video, lost some stock price. Yeah, well, a little it's nothing bit. really enough to bring down the whole company and make them go bankrupt or anything. For They're now. probably going to recover in the next few weeks. Well, th from what I've gotten from comments on the last video they did not recover and in fact they went even lower so good fuck you need Three youtubers who tried to run a smear good. campaign on selling are going to be just fine within the next few weeks because their fan bases are huge and things will die down as they but always will do. they though so is niji sanji gonna walk away scot-free from this without any real consequence Hopefully not. no because here's the thing they lost way more than 152 million dollars in terms of public image true vtubing as big as it is right now is still considered quite niche the mainstream yeah, still doesn't participate sense. in it much less knows about it as God a vtuber damn. corporation one of your big. biggest interests is to reach these mainstream people because that's how you'll ultimately really grow as a company now, what's really interesting about this whole controversy is that unlike others, this was picked up by some very mainstream personalities. Anyone from Moist Critical hey. to Ordinary Gamers to people who don't even have anything to do with VTubing reacting to it. Is. Like, for example, Patters, who's literally a Pokemon YouTuber. <laughs> I Yo. can't tell you the amount of people. Y'all see this Pokemon in the bottom, bottom right? For example, Patters, who's Yo. literally... Yo, is that uh, Charizard? God damn, homie's been in the gym. A Pokemon YouTuber. Let's go. Cool. I can't tell you the amount of people I saw in my first video saying, Geo. I know nothing about VTubers. I clicked on this video anyway. I'm going to support Doki. F*** Niji Sanji. <laughs> yeah. So the real consequence here is the fact yeah, that so Niji. many people are finding out about VTubing with the idea of, oh, Niji Sanji's bad. Avoid them. Watch anyone else. But hmm. this doesn't mean that Niji Sanji doesn't have its defenders, sometimes even reaching the mainstream. There was this huge thread oh posted my on Twitter God. of why Selen is actually the enemy here. And <laughs> not only did it get community noted, How? after getting community noted, How it got deleted. Enemy? So great Oof. look. You definitely made your point there. But what's crazy here is that we saw our first Cute mainstream cat. Niji Sanji defender, the streamer 39 Daff. In Yo. her offline chat, she went... That is a lot of... Uh... All this tirade saying that people were stupid for supporting Selen and that things weren't as simple as they seem. And because I'm assuming it's also all the assumptions are based on that why get mad me, I'm telling you it's unreasonable to assume it's a loss with all prior context. Come on with it, defend the logs, blah 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 blah. So I think it's brief based loss and then one thing is that now. Now she has participated in streams with Niji Sanji talent before, so maybe oh. she might be a bit biased. Who knows? Regardless, when people found out about her statements, they made sure to call her out on Twitter repeatedly, more than once, quite a bit of <laughs> times. Actually. I'm not going to go over every single message she typed, but Fallside made a video where he pretty much went through everything she said and countered her arguments pretty well. So if you want to check that out, I recommend his video. There's also a lawyer that goes by the name of Legal Mindset that went through the Legal entire case mindset. himself, watched the video of the three VTubers, and pretty much gave 
gave his opinion. It was pretty entertaining and he made some really good points. I recommend checking that out too if you want to know more about the legal point of view for this controversy. In my opinion, I do not think that it was a form of harassment. Harassment is not an opinion. It's a legal <laughs> analysis. There are things that legally constitute harassment. <laughs> like you're, <laughs> as a friend, I don't think, I don't feel this is harassment. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. It's a legal analysis. To conclude this two-part series, Niji Sanji has screwed up big time like because this dad. time they got caught. Oh, this is the first like time they pulled something like this. This is the only time the people actually hey, saw what they were doing. It was so bad that it reached the mainstream and that's their biggest problem right now. Of mm. course, this all plays into a bigger problem, which is Japanese work culture and how dystopian it is. But the fact that it's reaching the... Yeah, well, Hololife is Japanese company and they're obviously doing better. So uh, let's not... No, this is just Niji Sanji being a piece of shit. Let's West not too. give them a little bit. This is bit. concerning. Doki Bird has expressed the fact that she wants to move on, so I'm going to respect that, and this will be the last video on this topic that I'm going to make. Look, Fair enough. she seems to be doing well. She just did a fundraiser for mental health, and Aww. man, she raised so much money. Damn. She inspired the hell out of me to do the same thing on this video with a bit more of a conservative amount <laughs> mm. to help people out as much as we hey, can. Fair but enough. honestly, as long as you treat people with respect and know Aww. that you are worth so much no matter what, True. that is what I want you, you to get from this video lot. and this entire situation. I always talk about crazy situations. This topic was a bit more serious, but I'm glad to have been able to spread awareness about it anyway. I'll see you in the next video. I hey. love you. Aww, adorable. Anyway. Yeah, it got worse. What the hell, bro? At this point, I'm not sure what Niji Sanchi even does for their VTubers. Like, what the fuck do they do besides bully them and try, you know, terminate those motherfuckers? Wow. Okay, that was wild. Anyway, uh, I want to hear what y'all think about this. How bad did the, the three VTubers get after that video? I'm curious. And let me know what y'all think. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Jesus Christ.